Hi, so I have a fresh Catalina install here and I want to set up Vim with the Vim package manager. The package manager that I like to use is called Vim plug. So we're going to go ahead and set up Vim with Vim plug. So first we're going to start off with the directions in the Vim plug repository. And to install it, it tells us to download plug.vim and put it in the autoload directory. They provide us with a command here that we can use. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And that's going to take plug.vim, create a directory in my vim autoload, and save it there. So let me double check that we downloaded it correctly. I'm going to go to vim, and there's autoload, and there's plug.vim. So we did install that correctly. So now if we go back to the repository, there is a sensible Vim configuration here. Uh, this is incredibly basic. It, all it does is it calls the plugin. It starts the, the, the plugin installation process. We'll walk through each one of the plugins that we have listed and then end the plugin installation process. And let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to create a vimrc file. And paste in exactly what we we're giving in, given in the repository. Now we're going to have to save this and quit so that vim will then recognize the changes. And as you can see, the syntax highlighting is now working. And uh, vim plug comes with a an install command that we can use called plug install. And this will actually go through each of the plugins that we have listed in the vimrc file and pull them down and install them for us. So now we've installed uh, the tpope vim sensible plugin. So let's say I want to install another plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my vimrc file. So I'm going to add a plugin here, and I'm actually going to make it uh, load on demand. So the syntax here is saying that when this nurture toggle command is called, that's when we'll go ahead and load this plugin. So I'm going to save it, quit, come back in the vimrc file, and run the plug install command. And there we see on the left, nerdtree is installed. So now if we run the nerdtree toggle command, we'll see the system directory of the present working directory that we're in for Vim on the left-hand side. So if I was in a project root, I'd see all the project files over on the left-hand side. And then, of course, I can toggle it again and close it. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned how easy it is to use a plugin manager like Vimplug to install plugins for Vim.